So electrons are being emitted through uh, a hole between two charged metal plates and they're being accelerated as in they're moving faster. So we can identify the charge on the plates to accelerate them. We would need a negative charge on this plate and a positive charge on this plate. So if an electron were to be encountered in between the plates, I'll do a little circle with a negative symbol. It's being accelerated, repelled away from the top plate and attracted to the bottom plate. Now we know if we have the uh, acceleration and mass of these electrons, then force net has to equal mass times acceleration, just like in regular kinematics. But when dealing with electric field, the base equation electric field equals force electric per charge uh, can be useful, especially between um, parallel plates because we know the electric field is constant between those plates. Solving for force electric, force electric then is electric field uh, multiplied by Q. And we can substitute this in where we see force net and set it equal to MA. So we know that electric field multiplied by charge must then equal mass times acceleration. Solving for electric field then, we know that mass times acceleration, okay, divided by charge would then be the value of the electric field that exists between these plates. Okay, now how can this be useful? Well, we can figure out the voltage between the plates or the potential difference between the plates. Okay, just by uh, reminding ourselves that volt is, does equal joule per coulomb. But we also have the equation volts is equal to E times T. So let's multiply both sides of these by displacement. Okay, and that would be the displacement between the plates. So in doing so, if I multiply this by displacement, then I know I have volts. So volts is equal to mass times acceleration. I'll put that in parentheses. Multiplied by displacement. Okay, divided by Q. Let's check the validity of this equation. We know that volts is a joule per coulomb. And looking at our units, we have force times distance, which is a unit of works, which is joules, and divided by Q, which is charge. So we do have joules per coulomb. So then we can figure out what the voltage is between the plates or the potential difference uh, based on the acceleration of the electrons. Now what about the change in electric potential energy? Well, again, the, the electron starts at the negative plate and is accelerated across to the other side. So again, it's witnessing you know, a, a change in potential energy. And of course, that change in potential energy is going into kinetic energy. So let's go ahead and solve that then. Well, if I know the voltage between my plates, okay, then all I need to do then is, is multiply this uh, uh, voltage by charge okay, in order to get the change in potential energy. So again, electric potential energy is equal to Q times V. So if we look at this equation here, mass times acceleration times displacement, if we multiply this by Q, we would then have uh, joules alone. Okay, so the electric potential energy difference is equal then to the mass times acceleration multiplied by the distance between the plates or just take the charge of an electron and multiply by the volts that has been solved for already. And a reminder that electron charge, 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19, so electric potential energy equals 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 and multiplied by the voltage. So again, or you can just take mass times acceleration times displacement. And that's how we handle you know, accelerating electrons between charged metal plates.